try and eat all the time. It's the best way to live. Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. I am Tiffany Brooke. I am coming to you live from Manila. I'm in Makati right now. I have been here for a few days. It's kind of a cloudy morning here. I am currently based in Shargao here in the Philippines. However, since the end of June, I've been in Bali. I've been practicing Ashtanga yoga, I have been surfing, and now I took a few days here in Manila because I have started the process to apply for my Philippine passport. One of the documents I need for this application is my original birth certificate. I am adopted. I was born in Manila and adopted by my Australian parents who are my family my parents and I grew up in Sydney Australia so I'm here retrieving the original birth certificate which has been quite the tedious task let me tell you anyway it is early it's only 7 a.m. I'm going to start my yoga practice as an Ashtanga yoga practitioner we actually don't practice on the full moon and new moon days. Yesterday was a new moon, which I didn't realize. So this morning I'm going to do a modified practice. I am most likely also traveling back to Bali this evening. So my practice always on travel days is a modified short practice. I hope you all have a beautiful morning and I'll catch up with you later. I have my greens powder here. I typically would juice two lemons every morning and add water. However, I'm on the go and so the greens powder will have to suffice for now. I drink this at least three to four times a day. It keeps your body in an alkaline state and it tastes really good. I'm used to the taste. I finished my yoga practice and I'm just finishing up packing my luggage and then I'm about to leave the hotel and head to the civil registry of Valenzuela where hopefully I'm going to pick up my original birth certificate. So fingers crossed. I'm just waiting here to check out. Super stoked. I am now checked out of my hotel. I'm just walking now. I have a few different things that I need to run around for today. I'm actually going to a salad stop where I usually always eat all my meals when I come to Manila because it's always fresh, healthy, amazing ingredients and tastes really good. They do really good salads really good wraps so I'm not actually just hungry yet I'm just gonna get some takeaway because then I have to jump in a grab car and go to Valenzuela where I'm heading towards the civil registry to hopefully pick up the original birth certificate so yes seat of the grab car it's going to take like at least 
Another 45 minutes to get to Quezon City. I'm a little disappointed that I wasn't able to retrieve the actual document that I need. As all things here in Asia and Philippines and I notice in Bali and obviously when I'm in India last year and in Sri Lanka and even Nepal where I was last year that things take time. If there's one thing that my yoga practice and my surfing experiences teach me is to be patient. So I'm just trying to be patient. the heart of Mary Villa. I just saw the sisters there. They're so lovely, so nice. We got to catch up and talk and we told them all about Shargao and Bali and, and what I'm doing getting my Philippine passports. It was really good to see them and there's so much love there. Very sweet. Oh, so what I am doing now though is I'm on foot. I'm walking about seven minutes going to the LBC because I need to mail off this document. Then I need to book it in a grab back to Makati, to my hotel, pick up my luggage. And then I need to go to the airport and check in to my flight because I am flying off tonight. I managed to book a flight before. So I'm flying to Bali, back to Bali tonight. to be out of this hectic, hectic, hectic city. I'm now heading back to HMV because I called my grab card there. I managed to find the LBC and send my documents. Go back to the hotel, grab my luggage and book it to the airport. just in time with two hours to check into my flight back to Genpesa. Seriously, I am so impressed with my multitasking skills today. I came here exactly like two hours to check in. Checked in no problem and Having luggage with wheels makes all the difference. Like, it's amazing. I'm just walking with my cat. <laughs> I'm just sitting here at the gate, waiting for the plane to board. I'm charging my phone as we speak and I'm charging my laptop as I'm trying to do some work on the laptop, trying to get back into edit land. I also bought a bunch of Chupa Chup lollipops. Now, if you know me, I like never eat candy, only vegan chocolate. I didn't really, really ever find vegan food to eat at the airport, so I just bought this random chupa chup. I have a couple more um, to eat on the plane. Luckily, I ate all that food before because I don't see myself eating anything until tomorrow, pretty much. People at home, I do not recommend this. Try and eat all the time, it's the best way to live. I just got into my seat on the plane now and I'm flying with AirAsia. The ticket was like super cheap. 
but I would like to do some work on my laptop, except I don't see any ports to plug the cables in. So, and my battery is about to, of course, run flat on my laptop. So maybe I won't do any, uh, maybe I won't go into edit land while I fly. I can only stay for 30 days. Luckily, my intensive will end on the 30th, which is a Friday. So, looks like I won't be staying any longer than 30 days. I'm feeling kind of wrecked. I'm not very good when I have to sit still for hours on end, which is what I had to do sitting on the plane then. However, I have arrived back in Bali. Just want to get my luggage and I'm now here at my accommodation in Bingen. It's called Tulagasari and I stayed here last week when I was in the Bukit and I love it. I'm very, very comfortable here. I'm a bit tired. I'm super happy that I am now here at the accommodation and it's been quite a busy day. It's like late, I shouldn't be talking too loud actually, but it's really pretty in the background. There's a beautiful pool that I'm gonna hang out tomorrow. I've had such a busy day, even though I didn't get the birth certificate, like anything and everything in Asia, it always, nothing just takes a few days. Things, things definitely take longer than that, but I'm happy that I will go back to Manila after my time here in Bali and hopefully pick up the original birth certificate, which is the document which I need for my Philippine passport. Anyway, I'm going to get to bed. I thank you so much for watching this vlog. I do hope that you've had fun and you've enjoyed yourself following me around today. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Good night, I'll see you next video.